international students, what are your options when it comes to housing and accommodation and how do you choose one that is right for you? So firstly, uh, you need to choose which university you're going to. The best way to do this is to look at the city, look at the course you want to study and how it fits in with you. Um, do you want to go to a big city? Do you want to go to a fairly small city? What are the courses like? Um, how do you measure the courses? Um, and always go on the university website. This will tell you uh, what sort of accolades they've got, um, how long the course is, the price, and it will give you some uh, inkling of the combination. When it comes to accommodation, most international students, this is just a average um, stay in a purpose-built student accommodation. Why is this? Um, it's normally more of what they expect in their area. So, uh, termed as condos, condominiums, um, you know, bits like that. The UK are just sort of getting into that market, whereas the Eastern market are very much into that. So a lot of people feel at home there, they feel more secure. Um, because they've got a key fob access on the outside and they've got a room key to their door. Um, you can share, but normally coming across in groups isn't, um, it's not very popular because it's unlikely that three, four, five, six of you will all come to, say, Lincoln um, and do the same course and share, share a house. If you are and you, you are going to, great. Um, but alternatively, most people book studios and they sit within the purpose-built student, student accommodation sector where they've got a gym, they've got you know a social space like the cinema, and they've got the study room, they've got some breakfast if they need it, and these people are usually well well catered um, when it comes to international students. They, they've seen it before, they know uh, how it works, they'll understand your visa application, your visa process, um, they'll know sort of what, what you what you do at home and they'll try and put on events for that um, and they'll make you feel really welcome whereas if you stay in a house um, it will it's cheaper rent um, and that's one of the plus things for an international student because you can be charged higher fees come to university obviously you've got your um, fees for university and then you've got your travel fees and you've got your accommodation fees so uh, rent is lower when you move into a house but obviously um, as an international moving into a house share which we're potentially for um, British people it's pretty daunting to be honest and something that it doesn't happen a lot but it still does happen and obviously how do they search for it um, so you can use search websites and that's absolutely fine there are plenty of search websites out there where you can have a look at different types of houses you can find different types of letting agents um, and have a look on the letting agents website um, you can also speak to the university as well they'll have a good measure on the city and what accommodation it has um, and you can sort of build, start to build a picture. I would always recommend looking at a map as well. So you can pinpoint the university and then you can go out further and further to see where the accommodation might be. Um, when you're booking accommodation, um, if you're an international student, don't be afraid to book it um, because most providers um, will offer you a refund or a free cancellation if you do not get a visa or you do not get the place in university it's something uh, quite bizarre if people don't um, because they can't expect you to still pay for that accommodation when you physically can't come and study at the university likewise don't leave it too late I've had plenty of whatsapp messages where people go I'm coming from uh, I'm coming to the UK next week and I need a house okay but um, obviously International students can come at different times, so there's January intake, and a lot of houses by January are already taken. And especially when you need in January to January, uh, most letting agents and landlords will obviously fill up before then, and then when you're looking at one bed, um, it could be an awkward number to two bed sort of house. It becomes harder and harder to find these places, so make sure you get in early, make sure you get in at least two, three months early, and if you don't need it, you cancel it and as I say check the cancellation policy um, to make sure that you can cancel free because you physically go and get there and then you release it back to the letting agent and they will be able to fill it there's no problem whatsoever with that um, also as an international student um, some of the top tips that I would give to fit into university is once you get here um, go and have an explore and um, make sure you obviously get maps on your phone you pinpoint your accommodation um, so if anything happens you can say I need to go back to this place um, and you just 
go and meet some people in your lectures, you go and meet other people coming from your country or other internationals, and then you start to get yourself into a routine. Once you get yourself into a routine, you can then start to build out, um, for instance, you know, you know where your lectures are, you know where your seminars are, so then go, right, where are you going to get your shopping from, um, how are you going to kit out your room, obviously it's a big question because uh, as an international you're not going to bring all your you know pots pans with you and um, there are companies out there that will deliver it for you and um, i can put one in the links um, and they will deliver a package to your door so you don't have to worry about it um you can choose your you can choose your delivery day as well um you can choose where you're going to get that from and then you can start start thinking about your social activities so um what places do you want to go to do you want to go to the cinema? Do you want to go to a bar? Um, you know, all these kind of bits. And you can start building your lifestyle out while you're here. Um, and it's a really good way to do it. Um, whenever I've gone travelling, that's the way I've done it. So I've pinpointed my accommodation so I know that I can always get back. And then I've started to build it out. So I've gone, right, have a look in this place today and then go back. I'll have a look in this place and I'll go back. Have a look at this place and I'll start to tour around further and further. So that when I get there... I've then just got a picture of where everything is and I've explored and another place that I like and another place that I don't like. So, a little bit of a ramble, but to summarise, if you're looking for student accommodation, use the search website. As I say, most international students go into the purpose-built student accommodation sector. These are mainly studios and studios. Um, they can come in apartments, um, but with these type of accommodation, you have a normally have a gym, cinema, study room, uh, dining room, uh, to grab and go breakfast, possibly free bikes to use, and all these kind of bits, and they're very handy. Um, they come with a lot of materials, by that they, they might come with pots and pans. If not, I can put you on a link to order them. That's absolutely fine. But always contact the university, book your accommodation nice and early. If you don't need it, cancel it, and check the cancellation policy. Other than that, if you get any questions, drop me a comment and I'll answer them.